So we are talking about the queue today. So queues are powerful mechanism for inter-task communication. They allow us to send and receive data efficiently. While coming on over Arduino to create a sketch for the queue, the first thing we need to create is a handle. Just like the task, we need a handler to handle the queues. So the queue is recognized by its handler. First, we need to create a handler for the queue. How we do it? We simply use XQ handle and we name anything we want for example here we naming simple queue or we can name it whatever we like next let's create a queue with the integer data type so for that we uh, use the same handle we initialized before and we initialize it with the xq create function uh, we say that the queue will hold five items and the size of each item would be an integer we can pass any structure or any other kind of data type with this same method the next thing we need to check that if queue is created we can simply check if the queue is equal to zero which means the queue is not created it also means that free rtos kernel is unable to provide enough memory to create that queue so we can simply create a string message to prompt that we are unable to create integer queue and we pass that to any UART transmit method because we are not using the STM32. This would be a different. So we'll simply uh, use a serial dot print line method instead of HAL UART transmit here. And uh, the next thing we also create, we make we have to make sure that if the queue is being created, we'll simply uh, prompt the user that integer queue is created successfully. Next, let's, let's assume a sender task which will send data to another receiver task. So in our case, we created a simple sender HPT task and we have some data which is integer i which could be any number. In our case, we just put a triple two here. And the next thing we need to create an if statement inside this if statement, we will use xq send function this function will take first parameter of the handle which is in our case simple queue handler and it will be used to send the data to this simple queue and the next parameter is the reference of, of the i variable it, it is the reference of the data to be sent and the next thing is port max delay what this port max delay uh, constant do it just put infinite uh, delay so it will take a maximum time to wait for data to be sent and we can check with double equal to sign with the comparison of pd pass so it will indicate that the data is sent successfully similarly we have a receiver task which will receive the data from the xq send function uh, the xq send function send the data with uh, xq send and uh, the receiver task will, re will receive it we need to create an integer variable to receive the data from the sender task and uh, we also need to create a if statement to make sure that data is properly received or not we will use xq receive function just like the way we use xq send function but here the xq receive will receive the data the parameter order is pretty similar with the xq send function the first parameter is simple q which is the handle of over q we, we have to receive the data from the next is a variable so receive data will be popped out to the received integer variable we have to pass a reference value and the next is a port max delay how much delay it had to wait uh, until the data is being received and with a uh, double equal to check we will compare pd true flag so if the data is received the pd true will comparison it will result uh, that if statement that successfully received data from the queue now this simple queue example 
let's convert this more into a more complex example to demonstrate the power of free our toss in the esp32 what we will gonna do we'll use multiple tasks to handle different functionalities for example we'll create an led task just like in our previous examples and a button task which we created in our previous example as well but here we are going to create one more task which is a sensor reading task so what this task will be doing the ld task is a similar functionality have a similar functionality just like before a button task also have a similar functionality and a sensor reading task it will be responsible to read a sensor will use a queue to com communicate between these tasks and uh, uh, for example between the button task and an led task instead of directly communicating we'll use a queue to communicate with that and we will create another queue to send sensor data to a processing task so we'll have four tasks led task button task will communicate between a button and led task so whenever a button is pressed the led will respond based on the data received from the queue and a sensor task will read a data from a sensor and send via queue to the processing task and the fourth processing task will receive that data and process it and send to the uh, serial terminal for the sake of the simplicity we'll keep things things very simple and let's see how it will look in our actual demo for example here is a recorded video of the demo where the sensor data is receiving and sending the data to the processing task with the communication and it does uh, uh, led on and led off is similarly button press is doing its uh, thing uh, with the led on and off this is what we're doing in the hardware side we press a button we'll send a indication it will turn the led off and uh, you see the led off message on the serial terminal we press the button again it will send a indication to on the led and off the led so when we press a button it will turn the led on if led is already on it will turn off the led and the value will be displayed accordingly on the serial terminal let me walk you through with this complete code we created three uh, definitions of led pin button pin and one another sensor pin definition of the pin uh, the button and led is remain same from our previous tutorial if you haven't watched that i will leave the link in the description we create three task handlers led task handle sensor task handle and process task handle and we need two kind of queues uh, one for the button press sending to the led task and second is the sensor reader sending to the processing task so we need two queues a button queue and sensor queue in an led task what we are going to do first of all we keep a variable to um, uh, led state which will indicate why what kind of the last state the led is at so for example we initiate it with a low state in a for loop we create wait for a button press notification and uh, we wait it from the x queue receive so we have to receive the button queue and uh, it, the state will be stored on an led state variable and the other process is very similar so if the data is received we'll write that led state on a digital write led pin and if the led state is high we print on the serial that the led is on otherwise we print on a ser serial uh, that led is off moving forward in a button task what we are going to do is we save the last button state which is high and the current button state in a infinite loop what we are going to do we are reading current button state so if the digital read uh, pin and the current state is low and the last button state is high we'll say that the new LED state is according to that button definition uh, and uh, if the previous state was high it is sending to low otherwise it is sending high so we'll send the xq send method uh, on the button queue that uh, write led state with this amount of time you need to write it on the queue 
the next thing we update the last button state and we wait for 50 milliseconds to add a debouncing effect next thing is a sensor task we have to read a sensor from analog read function and we use similarly execute send method the execute send data will send this sensor value with the help of sensor queue and we take some delay which is one millisecond delay before we uh, make another attempt to read with an adc with the analog read function and finally coming to the process process task what it does it have a variable to store the sensor value it receive data with the help of sensor queue and store that value on a sensor value and once the data is received it will simply print on the serial port with the help of sensor value coming into the setup function we did uh, pretty much similar uh, from our previous tutorials we begin the serial we uh, pin mode we set the pin mode to output for the led we set the pin mode uh, we write an L digital state of low to the led to turn the led off once it's power on we set the button pin as input and uh, pull up so we don't have to put a pull up on the hardware then we initialize the sensor pin as an input Input. Oh, I know we don't have to do that, but but to make sure that the analog input is as in input state, then we create. Uh, two queues uh, one uh, with the help of XQ create function and uh, it will be store five number of integers and uh, similarly we created a sensor queue next we initialize the task uh, with the uh, LED task and uh, then a button task then a sensor task and then a process task so these are the four tasks that we created and there is an empty loop so that's how the complete scenario will work with the intertask communication with the help of Q. And if you want to keep updated with these tutorials, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get the not notification of upcoming ESP32 free RTOS videos. Thank you.